Hello Brick Sculptors, welcome back to Brick Sculpt. This is Chris and today I want to share with you another find on the pick-a-brick wall. About once a month I make a pilgrimage out to the Lego stores. And yes, I said stores. Um, there's two of them. It's kind of strange. Let me explain. So here on this map you can see the Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois. It's located kind of at the corner of Interstate 90 and Interstate 290. Now if I zoom in a little bit closer, you'll see something kind of interesting. There are two LEGO locations right here. The one up top being an official LEGO store owned by LEGO. And down below, you'll see Legoland Discovery Center. Now this has attractions and rides and activities for kids. Honestly, I think it's overpriced and not worth doing, but they both have pick-a-brick walls, and they are both right next to each other. In a two-minute drive between the two, I can hit two pick-a-brick walls. Now, these are both pick-a-brick walls, and they are both LEGO stores, but that is where the similarities end. These two LEGO stores could not be more different. Let me show you. This is the official LEGO store that is inside the mall. And it's a pretty typical Lego store. This is what you'll find pretty much anywhere. Uh, they're very well run, they're very clean, well organized, the staff is fantastic. And here I'll show you the pick-a-brick wall. Every single bin is incredibly organized, um, nothing really out of place. They do have one bin, typically, that is miscellaneous. That's this one here. The pricing on the boxes here, I don't know what the small ones go for because I never buy them, but the large ones are 18 bucks, $17.95 or something like that. And then we have the Legoland Discovery Center, which looks like this. And it looks super cool from the outside. Uh, I did learn that the Legoland Discovery Centers are not owned by Lego, it is a third party owner. But let's go ahead and take a look at their pick-a-brick wall. So as you can see, a lot of the bins are very empty or low, and they are all a mess. Um, most of the bins are just random, especially these ones at the bottom. They just throw stuff in there. Some of the ones you can tell are newer because they have one specific piece, but they're still usually a mess. This pick-a-brick wall is an absolute disaster. Now it doesn't mean it's not still good, because the variety of parts is kind of bigger. I mean, you got a lot of stuff you can pick from in these miscellaneous bins. And on top of that though, their boxes are $19.95 for a large box, and they're $2 more. So both of these stores, though very different, do seem to have advantages. The clean organized store is very easy to shop through when they get new parts it's very easy to tell but the messy store you never know what you're going to find you can get all kinds of different stuff in there and get a much larger selection of parts though you're probably not going to get a whole handful of one specific part especially if it's something good it gets picked over pretty fast so let's go ahead and take a look at what i bought Let's go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, utter chaos. This is an order of randomness. I mean, really not much rhyme or reason to this. Uh, I think you can probably guess which store I bought from. But this is kind of the upside sometimes of the chaotic Lego store. That pick-a-brick wall is such a mess, but the variety of pieces is sometimes pretty good. I uh, got some weird stuff in here like neon yellow, some rare colors. Um, these pieces I thought were really cool, so I grabbed a bunch of them. No idea what I'll use them for. Uh, I also i have never really played around with these much. I don't even know if I've ever really owned these much. Uh, but I got a whole bunch of these. I could probably do some cool things with that. Who knows? Um, they had a bunch of white bricks. I know these aren't too exciting, but 1x2s and 1x3s. Uh, as I mentioned in my last pick-a-brick video, 
my white bricks are getting kind of old and dingy so new stuff always looks good I have a new mock coming up after I finish my bank mock that uh, is going to use a lot of white so good to stock up on white now and just random things like they had one of these in there might as well take it this was in there just like this well three jumpers I always need jumpers reddish brown plate why not even found a few masonry bricks and by a few I mean very few I think I probably have like four of them in here but I mean you can never pass up on masonry bricks one dark brown brick it's dark brown you gotta get it right another one maybe it's just these three but hey three masonry bricks I'll take it uh, I got a lot of these I use these in my stair builds I use this in the uh, stairs in the bank mock. Uh, I'll post that um, rebrickable on how to build those in the description. And just some weird off colors, you know, kind of rare colors, a few of those in here, anything weird. I got one of these. I got a bunch of those last time I was there. They didn't have much now. Just total randomness. Lots of white headlight pieces. Always good for snot technique. A couple of these guys. So yeah, just a total random mix. I'm not going to go through all of this because it's just a lot of randomness. But uh, you kind of see the point here. I would have never really been able to do a buy like this at the other store because it's all so neatly organized. So I have good luck at both stores. Sometimes I just like a random assortment of junk. And sometimes I like find something that I want a large quantity of. And the other store is much better for that. Well, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe because I'm going to do more videos just like this in the future. And we will see you next time.